Hi my dear student today we will discuss chapter 5 two dimensional analytical geometry exercise 5.5 question number 5 I'll read the question parabolic cable of a 60 meter portion of a road bed of a suspension bridge or portion as shown below vertical cables are to be spaced every 6 meter along this portion of the road bed calculate the length of the first two of these vertical cables from the vertex see the figure and I'll read the question again A parabolic cable of a 60 meter portion of the road bed of a suspension bridge or portion as shown below. From the diagram, what can you understand? From the center to the right end will be 30, left end will be 30. Totally, the length is 60 meter. They are telling so 30 plus 30. Vertical cables, many vertical cables are there, which is spaced every 6 meter along this portion of the road bed. Vertical cables. Are to be spaced every six meter along this portion of the road bed. So every vertical lines, the gap is six meter, six meter, six meter. Okay, the total length is sixty meter, thirty plus thirty, and the distance between each vertical cable is six, 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 six. Okay, you want to find out the length of first two of these vertical cables from the vertex. From the diagram, I can say parabola. Open upwards. Okay, so the general equation will be x minus h whole square equal to plus four y y minus k, where h comma k is the vertex. Got it? Where the general equation of the structure will be x minus h whole square equal to Four y times y minus k, where h comma k is the vertex. In this case, we have vertex on the y-axis, which is zero comma three. That is, h comma k will be zero comma three. When you substitute here, h is zero. X minus zero whole square. Four y k is three. Y minus three. It will be x square equal to four y times y minus three. Got it? Now. The the total length is sixty meter, which is thirty, and this is thirty. Okay, and the length of the fifth pole will be sixteen meter. Right? See the diagram. In the diagram, the length of the vertical line of the fifth one is sixteen meter. Right? For the first vertical cable, six meter distance. For the second one, twelve. Third one, eighteen. Fourth one, twenty-four. Fifth one, thirty. So the fifth one from the center. So the fifth line will be 30 meter, whose height is 16 meter is given. Therefore, the point 30 comma 16 lies on the parabola. Parabola. Got it. Whose horizontal distance uh, space between each vertical line is 6 meter. So fifth cable, when you see 6 into 5, 30, whose vertical distance is given 16 meter. Therefore, thirty comma sixteen lies on the parabola. That is, lies on this equation. Just substitute here. X is thirty. Four y y is sixteen. So, this is nine hundred divided by four into sixteen minus three thirteen, which gives the value of y as nine hundred divided by four into thirteen. Just substitute here. Therefore, x square equal to four times y value. 900 by 4 into 13 into y minus 3. It gives 4 4 cancel 900 times y minus 3 divided by 13. This is the exact equation of the parabola in this case. Now we want to find out the length of the first two vertical line. For the first vertical line, whose length will be? I'll take y1. Okay. First vertical line whose length will be y1. Therefore. I'll substitute the point as six comma y one lies on one. I'll take this is one. Why I'm taking six comma y one? Because each vertical line spaced between six meter. So from the vertex, the first line which is placed six meter away. So horizontal distance is six meter. I don't know the vertical distance, so it will be y one. Substitute here six square nine hundred by thirteen. Y one minus three. This is thirty six into thirteen. Bring this nine hundred down. Equal to y one minus three. When you simplify, you'll get 
zero point five two. Minus three comes here plus three, which is equal to y one. Therefore, y one will be three point five two meter. Got it? So the length of the first vertical line will be three point five two meter. We wanted to write length of the first vertical line is. 3.52 meter similarly second vertical line i'll take y2 got it so the horizontal distance is from the vertex the first vertical line is 6 meter from the uh, for the second vertical line the distance is 6 meter so the distance from the vertex to the second vertical line is 6 plus 6 12 so horizontal distance is 12 vertical distance will be y2 See, in this case, you want to find out the length of the second vertical line, which is 12 meter away from the vertex. From vertex to first vertical line, 6 meter, and the next vertical line is 6 meter. So 6 plus 6, 12 meter. So the horizontal distance from the vertex to the second vertical line is 12 meter. So horizontal distance is 12 meter. Vertical distance I am taking y2. When you substitute in one, substitute this point in one. Okay. Substitute this point in one. Just see, twelve square, nine hundred by thirteen, y two minus three. So one forty four into thirteen by nine hundred. This minus three comes here plus three equal to y two. Twelve twelve are one forty four. Cross multiply, it will be into thirteen divided by nine hundred. Y two minus three. This minus three comes here plus three. When you simplify. Y two will be five point zero eight meter. Got it? Therefore, length of the second vertical line is five point zero eight meter. Got it? See, in this case, we want to find out the length of the second vertical line. Second vertical line. Is 12 meter away from the vertex. For the first vertical line, the distance is 6 meter. From the first vertical line to second vertical line is again 6 meter. So the distance from the vertex to the second vertical line is 12 meter. So horizontal is 12 meter. A vertical distance I don't know. I'll take y2. So substitute this point in in one. You will get the value of y2 as 5.08, which gives the length of the second vertical line. Very simple. From the diagram. You can understand the parabola open upwards whose general equation will be x minus h whole square equal to four a times y minus k, where h comma k is the vertex. In this case, your vertex is placed on y-axis. See from the diagram. From the diagram, I can say the vertex at zero comma three. So h comma k will be zero comma three. When you substitute in the general equation, you will get x square equal to four a times y minus three. And uh, from the diagram, when you see the distance from the vertex to fifth vertical line is six five zero thirty, whose vertical distance is given, which is sixteen meter. Therefore, the horizontal distance thirty, vertical distance sixteen. This point lies on the parabola. When you substitute this point in the general equation, you get the value of a as nine hundred by four into thirty. When you substitute here, you will get the exact equation, which will be. X square equal to 900 by 13 into y minus 3. Here they are asking the length of the first vertical line and the second vertical line. First vertical line distance from the vertex is 6 meter. So horizontal is 6 meter. Vertical distance I will take y1. When you substitute in one, you will get the value of y1 as 3.52 meter, which is the length of the very first vertical line. Again, you want to find out the length of the second vertical line, which is 6 plus 6, 12 meter away from the vertex. Therefore, horizontal distance 12, vertical distance y2. When you substitute this point in one, you will get the value of y2 as 5.08 meter. Therefore, length of the second vertical line is 5.08 meter. Got it?